For the next 48 hours, I'm only gonna be eating food bought from gas stations, more commonly known in the UK as a petrol station. Why? That's a good question, really. I feel like UK petrol stations are very different to American gas stations. There seems to be so much more that you're able to get in an American gas station. We're lucky if we have one with like a Greggs or something. Now for this challenge, I am ruling out supermarket petrol stations. It'll be 48 hours, so it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let's get into it. I've just had a shower and I'm pretty hungry. I'm gonna go find uh, some breakfast and I'll probably get my lunch while I'm at it. So I started my morning by driving and finding this Texaco, which had a cost cutter, which is not very common along here. And I went in there and it was literally just this tiny little box and I felt really awkward filming in there. So I only just got like this little, little, little clip here. So that was tricky and not particularly successful. Um, I didn't manage to film much in there because it felt really awkward because it was literally just this tiny little box place. And as such, they had like nothing. So I really need to find a bigger petrol station later. But for breakfast, I do have a sausage roll and some eggs. That's something, right? A couple of fried eggs and a sausage roll. Let's eat. You know, fair play to that petrol station because that does not look like too bad a breakfast. Fried up the eggs, air fried the sausage roll just to make it, well, it's made it quite crispy actually. You know, a long old time since I've had a Ginsters. Finding eggs there was a definite win because we can, we can use those to bulk up like dinner or something, depending on what we managed to find at the next place. That place, honestly, it had awful variety, genuinely awful variety. I am shocked that we even managed to find eggs. Felt quite breakfasty, really. Sausage and eggs, that's something you have. Now they did have a big slushy machine, but it was literally like 8.30 in the morning and I didn't really want to get a slushy. I could have gone back there. I, I, I didn't, I didn't. I mean, I couldn't find any cups for it anyway. But I also did manage to buy my lunch there as well. They had lots of meal deals, although it was probably the most expensive meal deal I've had. So those of you who don't no, meal deals are huge in the UK. You get them mostly at supermarkets. They're sort of like anywhere between three pound and four pound and you always get your main, which is a wrap, a salad or a sandwich and then a drink. And they're usually pretty good value because you can get some of the more expensive drinks within the meal deal. So they had it here. I mean, it was expensive, close to five pounds for the entire meal deal itself. I got this nice wrap. It was Southern fried chicken and I do love a Southern fried chicken wrap alongside a Coca-Cola lemon and that good old standard gas station, petrol station food, a pack of Doritos. It was as lunchy as you could expect. Like the, the wrap, it was good. It was good as any supermarket meal deal wrap, to be honest. The, the chicken was nice. It had a good coleslaw in it. Doritos were Doritos were Doritos, and I love Doritos. And apparently the Coca-Cola lemon was new. It, it was all right, it was all right. I'm not huge on Coke. I'm more of a Pepsi Max kind of guy. Now for dinner time, I had seen a gas station that was about 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes away from me and I've passed it a few times. I've noticed they had a sign out front, had a lady with a hot dog on. And I was like, does that mean they actually do hot dogs there? So I knew that's, that's like, that's like peak gas station food, right? Getting a hot dog. So I knew I had to go there and the plan was I was gonna go there for dinner. But that's when things got a little off as well. I don't know what it was. Everything seemed like it tasted all right. But by that afternoon, I got quite ill. Like, I, don't, I don't know what it was. I got quite dizzy and I felt really rough in general. So I just kind of, I had to call it quits for that day. Didn't have anything else that day. I just had a bit of a lie down and went to bed. And it meant that I would have to save my hot dog for another day. We'll find that hot dog tomorrow. So I woke up the following morning and uh, I, I was actually, I felt much, much better. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was the eggs, maybe it was the sausage roll, maybe it was the wrap. Who knows? It could have been a mixture of anything or I just caught some kind of weird bug or something like that. Either way, I'm alive, I'm okay, don't worry about it. Whipped up breakfast, just used the remaining four eggs that I had in an omelette. That was pretty nice, that was pretty nice. Uh, it was, it was, it was, it was good. I mean, I would have loved to put extra things in it and if it was the eggs that made me ill, then these eggs didn't, honestly. Felt fine afterwards, so who knows? Who knows what that was from the night before? Right, I'm back to it. And I am honestly dying to find this hot dog. I passed this place uh, a while ago. I think it's like a half an hour drive away from me or something like that. And there was a little hot dog sign out front like a lady eating a hot dog at a shell garage. Now I don't know about you, but that says to me 
we sell hot dogs indoors. So if it doesn't sell a hot dog indoors, I'm gonna be gravely disappointed, but I'm hopefully gonna get the hot dog for lunch. We're also gonna pick up something for dinner and maybe like a little snacky snack or desserty thing as well. Let's go get this hot dog. Yeah boy, he did it. He's got a hot dog. I think this is about as gas station food as you're gonna get here in the UK. I'm gonna go find somewhere to park up and eat this because I feel weird about just sitting in a petrol station and eating it. So let's go do that. There was literally one hot dog left. Now again, it was a really small little gas station, but it had so much more than the first one that I went to. I parked up and I went to go get this little shot here of the hot dog sign and the lady who worked at the gas station literally ran outside and was like, oh, you can't park there and wander off. And I was like, no, I'm coming in. I'm just getting a little shot of your, of, of your sign. And she looked really confused at that and I don't blame her. I don't often divulge what I'm doing or what I am doing. So it just felt awkward to then film inside. So here it is. It's a good size looks all right. I do like that it's kind of more in a crusty baguette than it is in a hot dog bun. So, you know, that's something. Not had a gas station hot dog before, and I kind of feel like you have to eat it in a car. You just have to, because because that's, that's how it's intended, right? So let's go. I'm not even lying, that is a banging hot dog. They had a little sauce station as well, so you could, you could fill your hot dog up, so I got mustard and what I thought was tomato sauce. That is most definitely hot sauce <laughs> but it's really nice the bread it's it's a little gone it's gone a little soggy it's still got that baguette texture to the outside which i like think it was only two pound 49 which is really good oh and before i forget they did also have like this little madeira cake it was really really tasty and i've still got it now and you know i loved it it did also have a lot of, i don't know if they do some gas stations in america but they do in the uk often uh, there's a whole fridge for alcohol because, you know, let's uh, top up my petrol and get some alcohol. Seems a bit counterproductive. So then it came to dinner time. Now this gas station was, it was interesting. It had a freezer in it and the freezer very much reminded me of a lot of the frozen foods that I got back in my Poundland episode. It was cool, <laughs> no, no pun intended. Um, or was it? Uh, but I did get myself some chicken nuggets. Sam fried chicken. Nice. I did the entire thing of chicken nuggets in my air fryer. By the way, guys, if you haven't seen the most recent video about the air fryer, I am gonna pop it up here because if you watch it, you can enter the competition to win your own air fryer. So please give it a watch, enter the competition. I also found a tin of HP beans. I didn't know HP did beans. They you normally do the little brown sauce, HP brown sauce. Didn't know they did beans as well. Beans needed to be seasoned because beans always need to be seasoned. That is always a top tip on this channel. You have baked beans, please season them. Put a bit of salt and pepper in them. They all need it. Every single brand without fail needs a bit of salt and pepper in it. But the chicken nuggets themselves as well, like, I mean, they were, they, they were good, they were good. They were really crispy. I got them really, really crispy and they had a good flavor to them as well. I don't often buy chicken nuggets. I know they're one of the more processed foods and things like that, but you know, when you're doing a challenge like this and you're eating gas station food, it's all gonna be pretty processed. I'm not gonna lie, it is all gonna be pretty, pretty processed. No, I don't care what anyone says, but sometimes all you want is a bit of a beige dinner. And this, this is nostalgic. It reminds me of old lunches from primary school in like the 90s. Only thing it's missing, potato waffles. Those actually are not bad. HP need to step their game up, a little bit bland. Uh, they, ain't, they ain't no Branston beans. They did have as well the microwavable roast dinners. And again, I had one of those in the Poundland episode. So I could have bought that and that could have been a little bit more interesting, but I'd already done that before. So I figured, let's just, let's just get the chicken nugs. Now that would have been it, but I did decide to get some breakfast as well. I figured where I missed a meal beforehand, might as well have another breakfast. And all it was, was they had these little like, pan of raisins. It was, it was good. It was as good as any other standard croissant. I don't know if it was from a local bakery or if they got them in, I don't know, but it was tasty. It was tasty. As good as any other pan of raisin that I've ever had. 
But anyway guys, yeah, I mean, it was a fun little challenge. It was just a bit of a silly fun, really, today. So, I mean, if you like things like this, please do let me know in the comments below, because I'm intrigued to know if you like more videos like this. But guys, as always, thanks so much for watching. Till next time.